So there are quite a few things to consider, and I this list is not even comprehensive um, for what to think about when you're buying an air purifier or thinking about buying one. So the filter type, is it a HEPA filter? Is it a kind of a knockoff HEPA filter? Um, is it a, a PCOS filter, which uses um, a photocatalytic reaction to break things down? That's what the molecule uh, uses. I don't think that filter is quite good enough yet per some of the studies out on it. Um, what is the smallest particulate size that it filters? So many HEPA filters go down to 0.3 microns, which is the size of the particle, the smallest particle that it can filter. Um, but there are many, including ones I'll go through, that filter much smaller particle sizes, some even down to the size of uh, some of the smallest viruses that we know of. Also things like filter life. How long is the filter gonna last before you have to replace it? Because that's you know extra effort and you might forget and then the filter's not working that well. So it's it's you're running it, but it's not really cleaning the air. Um, and also it adds to cost. So if you have to replace a filter every six months, that will add into the cost of the lifetime of the, of the uh, air purifier, and you need to think about that up front. Um, also, it's important to know what room size the unit's rated for. So certain filters, they test them to see how quickly can they filter all the air in a room within an hour, or also how many times per hour in a smaller room. Um, this is important to know because let's say you have a room that's really high traffic, like a dining room where people are sitting and they're eating with their masks off and things like that and they're talking, this room might need a filter, an air purifier that can cycle through all the air in the room several times an hour rather than just once an hour to really keep up with all of the particles. Um, the cater, this is basically a kind of a rating or score of how quickly that particular filter can filter out a specific type of particulate, something like smoke, pollen, pet dander, um, in a room of, of a certain size. So generally speaking, the higher the cater, the faster it can filter out that particular um, particulate in a room. Um, noise level is important because many times a lot of these tests that are run are run with the filter on its highest speed setting, which is usually the loudest setting. So if you're getting that, I would look at the top end of the noise range and say, hey, is this something I could really tolerate or not? Um, generally, 25 decibels is considered pretty quiet for a filter. Um, getting up into like 50, 60, 70 is, is getting up there pretty loud. Um, because if it's something you're going to be running in your bedroom at night, you want it to be quiet, but still filter. If it's something in your living room or your dining room and you want to be able to hear people talking over it, you don't want it to be so loud that it drowns out people. Um, cost, factor in the cost of the purifier, but also of the filters. And uh, oh, I misspelled warranty here. Uh, warranty and return policy is important. Let's say you get it and it breaks or you know it's um, too noisy and you want to return it. Certifications and testing, like have they tested it against SARS-CoV-2 or other viruses? That's important. And then reviews and ratings. What, what have been other people's experience? Um, there are also some kind of extra and unique features that you can consider. So things like carbon filters, they help with odors, UVC, um, that helps with kind of sanitizing the filter and some of the air going through it. Ionizers, they spew out ions to charge some of the particles in the air so that when those particles flow through, they will stick to charged plates or surfaces within the, uh, within the filter. So it kind of adds to its ability to, to get smaller particles out. Ozone. Generally, ozone, even though it's a good antimicrobial, it's not good to breathe ozone. So I would avoid filters that put off ozone as a byproduct. 